the retail apocalypse is still surging. The inflation, supply chain, all these different issues are impacting all these different major companies. Walmart, Aldi's, Kroger, the list goes on and on. As grocery prices reach record levels due to soaring inflation, discount retailers like Aldi's, Kroger, Walmart have become consumer favorites in today's society. However, even popular grocery chains have not been immune to sharp increases in operational costs and supply chain problems throughout the past year. We will explore how the retail apocalypse is impacting all these major discount retailers such as Walmart, Aldi's, Dollar Tree, Target, Kroger, and all other major retailers leading to store closures and significant consequences for customers and employees alike. Aldi's has seen demand booming over the past couple of years, but the company has recently had to raise prices on thousands of products due to increased operational costs, just like everyone else. Consequently, sales have flatlined in many of these locations. Supply chain problems have also resurfaced, and as a result, Aldi's is also falling to the retail apocalypse and closing stores in many U.S. cities. Over the past year, over 60 major retailers have filed for bankruptcies and closed thousands of stores. Many consumers have lost access to their favorite locations and another massive wave of closings is currently underway as we are speaking right now. Grocery store chains like Aldi's, Walmart, Target are not exempt and their customers have taken to social media to laminate the loss of their favorite budget-friendly supermarkets in their areas. It is all over all the different social networking sites. Store closures not only disrupt shopping routines, but also have significant impacts on local communities. When Aldi's closed a popular store in one metro area, residents and city officials expressed disappointment and concern for community access to affordable groceries. As more stores close across the country, many customers and communities will face similar challenges and distress. Loyal shoppers have also noticed a limited variety of products on store shelves in many stores. Aldi's typically carries less inventory than other retailers due to its business model. The current situation goes beyond the occasional empty shelf. Shortages of dairy products, meat, cereals, vegetables, and fruits have been recurring in many locations across the U.S. In response, Aldi's has imposed purchasing limits on some products to prevent stocks from running out, unlike some of the major retailers like Walmart that has not started any limitations to curb running out of stock. As inflation continues to skyrocket, and all retailers are forced to raise their prices. Everyday items like milk, meat, and fruit, as well as any company's own brand products have been particularly hard hit. The budget-friendly grocery chains have experienced higher rates of inflation than many of its competitors. With annual price rises 
at all major retailers have found to be 16.5% higher than the industrial average of 14%. In addition to all these different major retailers such as Amazon, Walmart, Aldi's, Kroger, all are also closing stores due to financial underperformance and changing the market as we know it. All popular grocery store chains and all their different products that they offer to their consumers and lower prices is hurting some of these major chains. And they are starting to close down several stores in many communities. Kroger, which is undergoing a transition due to a pending merger with Albertsons, is also facing store closures as we speak. As the retail apocalypse continues, at least 1,405 stores are set to close across the U.S. in 2023. Retailers are being forced into desperate cost-cutting measures amid rampant inflation, declining bottom lines, theft, and supply chain issues. Companies are navigating bankruptcy proceedings, cutting spending to remain profitable, cutting stores to remain profitable, and concentrating on their best performing stores only. In California and New York, the mass exodus of retail stores is particularly striking, with approximately 800 of the 1,405 stores scheduled closures concentrated in these two states. Ironic names are downsizing, including companies like Bed Bath & Beyond, Gap, and Party City, just to name a few. The bleak outlook for the retail sector is getting higher and higher with tighter credit conditions and basically the risk of collapsing banks from being able to borrow money and the potential for an economic downturn to further damage sale rates. In these consequences, many of these big stores are going to be forced to reduce their workforces even more as they focus on their best performing stores only and put all their time, money, and effort into those. In the midst of the retail apocalypse, only the strongest retailers will survive, which means we might have to say our final goodbyes to our favorite brands sooner than we think. As more store closes, Customers, employees, and local communities will face significant challenges and hardships in these times. The hope is innovation solutions can help mitigate the impacts of this ongoing crisis on both businesses and people who rely on them on a daily basis for their needs that they have in their communities so that they can provide for their families and try to save money at these local stores. In reality, what is going to be taking place, a lot of communities are going to be losing a lot of their different stores that they've come to rely on throughout the history of their communities. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me in this video today. We all need to be safe. We need to be prepping and we need to be paying attention to what's going on because in the near future, it could be very difficult for you to find a local store that you can afford to shop at.